All right, so first, first question. All right, first question. What are some ways you, uh, what, so what are some ways you battle the warfare of the mind? <clears throat> Battle warfare of the mind. That's why she was like, her to do this Q&A. Um, when it comes to the warfare of the mind, it wasn't even her question, I'm sorry. But when it comes to the mind, we have to ask, what does the word of God say about the mind? The Bible doesn't say, um, be transformed by the renewing of your heart or the renewing of disciplines, the renewing of the mind. In your mind right now, there are all forms of influences. Your mind comprises of a lot of different things. I'm not going to go that deep as in my book. But I talk about how your mind encompasses emotions, knowledge, memories, etc. The reason why we battle so much in our minds is because we allow our mind to be open to every other thing. Instead of the things of God. How can you cast down a vain imaginations if you don't even know which imaginations are vain or valid? When it comes to thoughts, you have to make sure you have the right filter to determine if those thoughts are vain or valid. Vain imagination says these imaginations, these thoughts have no point to them. Valid imagination says through the word of God, these words, these thoughts in my mind are valid. That's why you got to be able to know what the word of God says about certain things so that you'll know what is vain and what's valid. Usually the thoughts that I get in my mind, if they're rep uh, repetitious or repetitive, I know that I'm in some type of warfare area. When I walk into certain environments, I got to always, that's what I've learned over time, is to make sure that I'm prepared once I leave my holy place, which is my home, that I'm prepared to be guarded as I enter a world that is not so holy. I can control my home because I don't watch everything. I don't even have cable at the house. So I can control my home. I can't control the limits outside. And sometimes when you walk in life, you got darts hitting you based upon what you see, what you hear, and all these different types of influences. So how I overcome thoughts is that I make sure I have a, a place in my home that I can always regroup. A place in my home where I can make sure that my home is flooding into me Good thing. So when I sleep, I have sermons playing. I have different things playing in my home to make sure that my spirit man is still soaking certain things. That before I leave my home, I cover myself in prayer. I say things like, you know what? Thank you, Father God, for keeping me. Seal my mind, seal my ear gate, my eye gate. Keep me holy as I walk in unholy places. I'm telling God I need you to help me so that there won't be no infiltrations in my mind. That is pointless if you don't have the right filters. Filter, singular. The word of God has to now be your filter that says, you know what? The word of God says it's about fear. The word of God says it's about lust and sex. This is what the word of God says about that. And I now have a system in place to ensure that even when I'm tempted in a moment, we always got a bathroom we can go to to say, you know what, well, let me just remove myself from this environment. Let me go to my car. I'm gonna go to the lounge. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get myself back together. If you don't get yourself together with certain systems, then you're gonna continue to fall because you don't have nothing in place to block that. Sometimes you only have the opportunity to stop. That's why you gotta go, uh, when you know that you're in a transitional season, you gotta go overload. When you're in a new city, when you're in a new space, when you're in a new job, you got to put more work in in your spiritual disciplines so that when you're tempted or tested, you can respond immediately. You only put out what you put in. And so many of us, the reason why we're losing battles outside of us because we have lost a lot of battles on the inside. You got to know what the word of God says about what you're facing. So if you're facing a bunch of insecure thoughts, you need to go to the word of God and read it within its context on how I can build my confidence in Christ. These things are essential when fighting against, against thoughts that comes into your mind. I think I said enough that if you need to watch the video again, you better get it again. But, but, but I think I said enough to kind of give you a starting point to move forward. All right, next question. Mm -hmm.